Yo, 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 yo. All right. Once again, it's on. All right, ladies and gentlemen, come on. Y'all know what to do. We got to move quickly. Yeah, I did it sideways because Deacon Jamal said something about it. I, I, I will not be bossed around by Austin. <laughs> That's Man, number one. Look how fast we hit everybody. 43, Deacon. We, we, we yeah, moving. The numbers, is the numbers is jumping. Let me back this. Let me back, back this. Monster. Yeah, I'll, you know, this was, this is new. Let's roll the music real quick. This is a fresh video. Everybody share, like, and invite. I have totally destroyed the other video, so it will not be on your timeline. Everybody share, like, and invite. Let's go. We'll start at 75. <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Y'all in here. Invite. We're going to 75. Is the sound still bad? No, it's good. It's just the red. That was just the music. The music was, I guess, blasting in the joint. That's better right there. I do apologize again. I had a screen change, so my speaker is in a different place, and I think that's why I was much louder than normal. Yeah. I'm glad we got it to work this way, though. Quick. Brother Cruz. Sister Cruz. <laughs> Mr. Keita, I'm back. Yeah, yeah man. I was doing charges up the right with it. Up and down the bunk, man. Come on in, y'all. Quickly, quickly. We're going to answer the question about heaven. Hey, Brother Dallas. Hey, what's up, bro? Cruz, what's up, man? Yeah, 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 come on in, Brother Bunchy, uh, Sister Thomas, Sister Johnson, Sister hey, Fisher, hey. Sister Collins. Come on, hey, hey, hey. What's up, what's up? Take your shoes what's off, up? take your coat what's off, what's make what's yourself up? at home. Hey, Sister Austin, we're missing you. Where you been? What's up? What's up? All right, let's rock and roll. When we get to 75, Deacon, uh, we, we're going to get it popping for real. Uh, shout out to everybody that was patient with us. Deacon, yeah. just press your mic real quick. Let's make sure everybody can hear you. Hey, hey, hey. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? All right. There it is. Can y'all hear me? Mic check man? one, two. <laughs> now, we're going to rock and roll. Mic uh, check. <laughs> there it is. There it is. I, I see you, Bip. Uh, uh, br Brother Bip's in the house. Uh, come on, y'all. This is the best information. Hey, Mother Mallory, God bless you. Hey, 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 Brittany Bell, you've been MIA, but we love you and miss you, so hang in there, girl. Let me know if y'all can hear me now. And your grandmother. Hey, Mom. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Sister King. Eric Foster's back. Brother Mitchell Lewis, thank you, man, for all your sharing. Yeah, we good, got the best good. in the house, the legendary himself. Hey, Sister Turner, Brother Ruben. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we can, we can go ahead and get it started. It's time to roll now. We got 85 up there. Now, for those that are watching, y'all continue to share, like, and invite. Hey, Sister Lewis, thank you. Thank you. Y'all make yourself at home. Speak to each other. We're, we're trying the sideways edition today. Uh, we, 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 we slanted sideways, Deacon. 
sitting sideways. Uh, yeah, and you got the ace pad. You know, we just, I mean, we flow. Uh, Sister yeah. Tanya, hey there. Thank you to you, right, Sister Tanya. Share, like, and invite. Uh, and, and you're going to get double trouble tonight because you're going to see, going to have a bigger screen option to see what Deacon is putting up. Um, so this is wonderful. Um, hey, Sister Street. Hey, All hey. right, we're at 92, Deacon, before we even get started. I guess we have to go now. Yeah, All right, buddy. I posted on yesterday, Deacon. I posted yesterday that uh, when people die, they don't gain wings. I saw that. They don't turn into angels. Mm -hmm. They don't go to heaven. No. They do not go to hell. And they certainly are not in a waiting room called purgatory. No. Okay? Now, I'm going to get to the good stuff, and, and this is good, but I'm going to just knock this out, Deacon. I think I want to do that tonight because so many people inbox me questions about uh, people being in heaven. Hey, okay. Sister Moore. So let's deal with this right now, Deacon, and I want everybody to follow me. Um, yes, in other words, what I'm saying is nobody is in heaven. Every funeral you have been to, pretty much, I'm sure most of you anyway, you have been told that mama or daddy or auntie or grandma is up in heaven looking down. That's right. I am telling you tonight, nobody, and I repeat, nobody, Deacon, is in heaven. That's right. Now, I received several questions. What's up, Deacon Shay? Salute. What up? What up? What's up, man? Uh, I received several questions, Deacon Jamal, about Enoch. Okay. And Elijah. Yeah, we and, know who they are. Yeah, we know who they are. And we've been <laughs> here before. We, we, we've been here before. Oh, yeah. So everybody that wants to explain what happens to people when they die, we're going to take, Deacon, we don't need but five to ten minutes to do this. Yeah. So let's knock this out because I got some hot information tonight that I'm going to expose to you in just a moment. Everybody that's ready, come on, type ready, and let's get this thing cracking tonight. Um, again, let's do it. Uh, so now, Deacon, number one, let's always remember that anything we teach, anything we say, folks get mad about it, they get upset, they talk about us, but they don't prove us wrong. Anything do. we teach, we back it up with the scripture. Oh, My they... opinion and your opinion doesn't matter, Deacon Jamal, matter. <laughs> and neither does those who are watching us. The Bible says, let God be true and every man every be man a liar. Right. And so tonight, we want to establish tonight, Deacon, that in fact, yeah, everybody's having problems sharing, but that's all right. Facebook that's can't stop right. it. They can't. Y'all just keep on. Let's keep moving tonight, and we'll share afterwards. But for everybody else, please share, like, and invite. All right, Sister Greenhow, Sister Chloe Nash, I hope I'm saying that right, Brother Montague, Sister Gordon, Brother Neville, come on, y'all, let's rock and roll. Hey, Sister Mallory, she's back, two thumbs up. Uh, Brother Joseph Christian says, ready. All right, Sister Nita, Sister Shonja Green, praying for you, praying for your mother, ready. Now, yes. we're going to deal with this. Deacon Jamal, first of all, I don't know where folks, including myself, because I'm guilty. I'm not here to try to talk down on church people tonight or preachers, uh, even though there's more misinformation being taught in the church than ever before. Hey, Sister India, I want to nail this right now, okay? So let's yes, answer this question first and do something different tonight. Number one, give me John 3.13, Deacon, and let's okay. flow like we do at church. All okay? right, let's get it. By the way, Deacon Jamal, you you and I, we don't practice, do we? No, not at all. Not at okay, all. so we're just going to let it flow tonight. Is that right? I worked all day, came home, took a nap, ate a sandwich. And there it no, is. I ain't heard nothing from you. There it is. John 3.13. Let's start right yeah. there. Let's, let's show what the Bible says. It says, no man and no man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. That's John 3.13. Hold on, Deacon. John 3, 3, 13 says, how many no men have been to heaven? No man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came hold on, down from Hold on, hold on, hold on, Deacon. It should say something about Abraham. No man. Hold on, Deacon. What about Adam? No man. 
No, 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 no. Deacon, that cannot be right. That's got to be a misquote, misprint. That has to be wrong. Deacon, David was a man after God's own heart. Yeah, but no man. No man have... No man. Read it one more time, Deacon. John 3 and 13 says, And no man have ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man which is in heaven. Now, so right away, we're not, we don't, listen, let me just give y'all a clue. Never build a doctrine on one scripture. Yeah. And that's what a lot of church folks do. They take one scripture and run with it, and they wonder why they're confused. So we're going to take you through the Bible quickly in the next six minutes and wipe this one clear, okay? No man has been to heaven. Now, David was a man after God's own heart, right, Deacon? Yeah, he was. He is responsible for a great deal of the book of Psalms. Is that right? That's right. That's right. Now let's see if let's see if David is in heaven. Acts two and thirty four. I'm going to show you that David, David, the man that, that that played the heart, that danced before God till he was naked. I'm telling you, David is not in heaven today. He's Give not. me some Bible, Deacon. Acts two thirty four says, "For David is not ascended into the heavens." Holy smoke, Deacon! You must have you had to put that in your Bible. Mm -mm, it's right there. Acts two thirty four. Says what, Deacon? For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he. So when they himself, go to the funerals, Deacon, mm -hmm. and they go to all these church services, and the preacher said they up in heaven, they got their wings, and they dancing around. No. Nah. Then somebody's telling a bold faced lie. Straight up lie. Read it one more time. Let's see what David is. Come on. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, "The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou Sit on my on right hand." Hey, Deacon, now let's see. Somebody say, you know what they're saying right now? Well, where is David if he's not in heaven? Give me verse 29. Verse 29 Same says, men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David. Hold on. Uh, Deacon, ain't this somehow we could go and get the answer? Right let there. me freely tell y'all where David is. Where he at? That he is both dead and buried. <laughs> is that clear, Deacon? Very clear. And his sepulchre is with us until this day. And he's still dead. How long? Until this day. So once again, everybody's yeah. upset with yeah. Pastor Rob and truth of the matter. And the preachers are telling you, don't listen to the word, church. But where did we get our answers from, Deacon? Straight from the word. Now, watch this. They want to know about Enoch. Yeah. Matter of fact, they want to know about Elisha and Enoch. Mm -hmm. So let's start with Elijah. Let's get the hard one out of the way first. Because there's a scripture that people says, the Bible says Enoch was, Enoch was translated into heaven. Okay? okay. Now I want you, the, uh, I'll answer that one too, Sister King. The bosom of Abraham can't be heaven because Abraham not in heaven himself. He even in heaven. <laughs> because no man had went there. But watch this. Watch this. Hey, Sister Belinda. Watch this. Yeah, we got Bible for it, Brother Reuben. Now, 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 Deacon Jamal, mm -hmm. Elijah was said to be translated. Let me explain what the word translated means. Okay. Calvin Driver says, what does it mean to be dead? Dead in the Bible means uh, it's symbolized by sleep. It is a temporary state of no conscience and no life. But let me get Amen. back to this. Watch this. Watch this right now. So, Deacon, they say e Elijah was translated. The word right. translated means he was moved from one place so to another. Right. If I translate a scripture, I'm simply taking the scripture from one translation to another. Okay? Amen. Now, what they fail to realize is heaven is not talking about a, some place up in the sky, up over the rainbow on another planet. Right. Heavens represent the actual sky and the atmosphere. That's right. And I'm going to show you that when Elijah was moved, he can give me Second Chronicles, chapter uh, twenty-one. When when he was actually moved, when Elijah was moved, he was moved to avoid, like God has done many times in the Bible, God moved Elijah to a place of safety. So let me show you that the, they were on his trail, and he probably was a warning man, Deacon. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Second Chronicles 21 and 4. Let me show you this first. Okay. Let's see. 
Second Chronicles 21 and 4. Yes, sir. Now when Jehoram That's was, it. Risen, was risen up the king to the king of his father, kingdom of his father, he strengthened himself and slew all his brethren with the sword, and divers also of the princes of Israel Israel. Jehoram. That's four. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me see. Let me see. I don't think that's, no, it. that's, that's it. I wanted that's you to it? see that. Okay. They were killing, they were killing yeah, all, okay. all of the prophets. Yeah. Now let me tell you what happened. Remember when Elisha was taken up? Yeah, in the whirlwind. God moved him out of the way to preserve his life. That's right. He later reappeared in verse 12. And when he, in, in the same chapter, and wrote a letter letting everybody know he was alive. Read verse 12 in the same chapter. Okay. It don't take a long time. We're going to blow this out the water and keep it right on moving. Second Chronicles 21 and verse 12. Listen to the book. A writing to him from Elijah the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord God of David, thy father, because thou hast not walked in the ways of Jehoshaphat, thy father, nor in the ways of Asa, king of Judah. There it is. So there I want is. you to understand that Elisha was simply moved from one place and then Good he up. later appeared and wrote a letter. Now let's get Enoch because mm -hmm. some people tell me Enoch didn't die. Okay? No, he, he did. Some people tell me Enoch didn't die. Oh, he did. And then Enoch was just taken to heaven, which is crazy. I'm going to help oh, he all did. of the Baptists Pentecostal, Methodist, Kojic, Episcopalian, Lutheran, full gospel, Catholics, and all the other folk that don't believe the word of God. I want you to see this right now. Everybody share. I'm going to show you. I'm going to go against everything they taught you in schools of theology and show you right now that Enoch did die. All That's right. right. This is called the Hall of Faith. Hebrews chapter 11. Verse 4. Listen to this. By faith. Enoch was translated that he should not see death. And now, he was not that, found uh -huh. because God had translated him. Okay. Now watch this, Deacon. And I'm trying to move quickly so we can get into what we got to get into. Gotcha. So the Bible says death, he did not see death. Now what does that he mean? He, he did not see death simply means, watch he this, that he wasn't killed. Yeah. Okay? And I'm going to prove it. Because in the same chapter, Deacon, Verse 13. Did people say Enoch didn't go to heaven? Verse 13. Names, that's right. Come on, Deacon. That's right. These all died in faith, not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off, and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Now, what verse is that? Verse 13. And it says, these all. Who are the God. these, Deacon? Abraham, Noah, Enoch, Abel. All the way through. All the way through. These all did what, Deacon? Died in faith. So stop listening to ministers and preachers that tell you that Enoch went to heaven and he didn't die. He did. Okay? Now, oh, Lord have mercy. So I think that that's clear. We don't have to go any further, even though I could, just to let you know that nobody is in heaven. Nobody's nobody ever been to heaven. Stop listening to lies and false teaching. Okay, right. number one, when you go to the funeral, the same preacher going to tell you in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, the dead in Christ shall rise. Well, if the dead in Christ going to rise, how is your mama already <laughs> in heaven? <laughs> okay, sense, so, now, everybody understand, if you're understanding somebody type right now, let me know that you got it. Just type, uh, you can make a check or type 100 or say I got it or yes. Let us know that you understand and we can move. Give us some feedback. Quickly, because we got a lot to get into tonight, Deacon. Get that computer ready. I'm going to have it smoking tonight. I got both of them. And we usually do the news. Okay? I'm going to show you. We usually do the news first, but I think I better go through how the Masons Okay, that was Hebrews chapter 11, Sister Taylor. And that was starting Read with verse 1 through 4. 13. Yep, there you go. Thank you, Brother C.J. Johnson. Welcome. What's up, man? All right, Rip. Thank you, sir. Sister Elena, you got it. See, Deacon, it's nothing better than when you got over 100 folk, and there'll be thousands by tomorrow morning that's going to get free of something they've been lying to their whole life. Man, that's great. I'm telling you. Okay. Thank you, Minister Minor. Thank you, Sister Belinda. All What's right, up, let's bro? rock and roll, Deacon. Now, everybody, let's just clear the slate. Hey, Sister Turner, Brother Mitchell Lewis, 
CD McLaughlin, what's up, brother? What up, man? Now watch this. Watch this. Stay with me. Hey, brother Barry Cutler, what's up, man? Everybody share, like, and invite because I'm getting ready to turn. Well, I hate to say it because I'm too old, but I'm going to turn up. All right? Uh, Deacon Jamal, we're going to turn up right about here. Yeah. Now, for those that have been watching us, Deacon Jamal, we have not only predicted upcoming events. Yeah. We have uh, foretold weather conditions. We have talked about terrorist attacks before they come. Um, we have warned you about scripted and fake news. And there's a lot of people who are saying, Pastor Rob, where are you getting? How do, how do you come to this? And so tonight, before I get to the news, and if everybody will stay with me, don't go to sleep. Don't log off. When I get finished giving you this brief tutorial on how there is a group of people, that's right, a group of tyrants, there's a group of elite uh, terrorists, monsters that run this world yep. that we label and call, watch this, the Zionist Jews, okay? The reason they're called Jewish is because they're not the real Jews. They ain't the real one. The real Jews are, of course, people of color. That's right. Not the long-nosed Reinsdorf, Rothschild, Rockefeller, Jerry Springer. That ain't the real Jew. What's up, Brother Derek Thorne here? Now, I'm getting ready to go there tonight. Everybody going to need to share this 100 times. I want to see the airways flooded when we get off of here tonight. Now, watch this. Deacon, those Zionist Jews are what we also call, we're going to do the news in a minute. I'm going to talk about the blue blood. I'm going to talk about, you know, to, it's supposed to be a uh, the red moon. Yeah. I also, that. a train wreck happened today in Virginia. Mm -hmm. what a I'm going to show you that was scripted. Um, Alex Smith got traded to the Redskins. <laughs> I'm going to show you is. that was scripted. <laughs> so y'all going to have to wait because I'm going to give you this tutorial on how these Jews, these fake Jews, run this world. They own everything, and it is based out of Freemasonry. Yeah. Okay? You need to understand the Catholic Church, the Christian Church. I need to say it that way. Christianity is based in and out of Freemasonry. Yeah. Y'all don't have to like what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, Brother Rip. Oh, yeah. I see you. And I raise you two more. Now, watch this. Watch this. Christianity is not what Jesus was a part of. Mm -hmm. What's up, Brother Griffin? Christianity is was used to control and manipulate the masses. That's hey, right. Sister Terry. That's my cousin, y'all. Now, watch this. Hey, hey, hey. Watch this. Deacon, when we think of the Masons, we think about the people that go to your, your granddaddy's church. Mm -hmm. You know you what know? I'm saying? Your uncle church or your home church. Yeah. But the truth is, those Masons are local. And mm -hmm. many of them don't have a clue about what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Don't even know that why, why they're in it. First of all, I don't care. I'm going to get myself in trouble right here. To become a Mason is totally anti-scriptural in general. And if you love God, and if you believe the scriptures, you could never, and I repeat, you could never join, that's right, I'm European Freemasonry, I do know what you mean by that. You could never be a part of the European Freemasonry. That's right. Now watch this. Everything we do, Deacon Jamal, yeah. from the music industry to the sporting arenas, like NBA, NFL, right. NHL, MLB is 100% owned, ran, and scripted by oh, these Zionist Freemason Jews. That's right. Tonight, before I get to the news and show you that the train wreck that happened again in Virginia, West Virginia, was scripted, before I show you about the moon, the, the red moon, the blue moon is supposed to come, and the Super Bowl and all that, I'm going to walk you through a brief tutorial, Deacon, because some people don't believe this. 
Yes. What, I'm, what we're going to do, Deacon, with your help, you're going to help me to show 120 people right now that are watching me that everything from movies to rock and roll to rhythm and blues to hip-hop to, to sports are ran and created by the Masons, and uh -huh. they have secret codes. Somebody said they messing with our feed. That what, that what Brother Cruz saying. Can y'all hear me? I want to make it's sure. Good. Hopefully that's just Brother Cruz's phone. It's Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? Quickly, can y'all hear me? It's flowing with me. I can, I, everything's flowing. I don't see no skipping or nothing. I don't see anything either. So yeah. let's keep moving. Somebody let me know if y'all can hear us. Okay, we're going to keep All right. moving. All right. All right. Now, so Deacon, we're going to discuss how the Masons run everything. Yes, sir. Okay. Number one, Deacon, the Masons control all music. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. The first three degrees of being a Mason is called the blue degrees. Uh oh. Okay. The blue degrees. Now, when you deal with Masonic order, all Masons operate and maneuver through degree. Hey, Sister Hope White. Thank you, Brother Fisher. Sister Fisher. Elder Sidney McKay. Brother Melvin Duggins, Sister Mary, Sister Mamie Taylor, come on in. Now watch this. Everybody invite. Invite. Now watch this. When you become a Mason Deacon, let me just tell a secret that ain't, I'm not supposed to tell nobody. All right? To become a Mason, you have to take all your clothes off. Uh-oh. I just thought I'd give this a little bonus. You take <laughs> your clothes off. And when you take your clothes off, you blind, you're blindfolded, and you have to knock on a door, and you have to say, I'm a poor little creature looking for the light. What? They stick a sharp object into your chest. Some gospel music is yeah. too, Mr. Yeah. White. Now watch this. They stick a sharp object into your chest, Deacon. And when they stick that sharp object into your chest, they warn you that they can castrate you, they can pluck your eyeballs out, they oh, can man. kill you if you reveal the secrets I'm about to talk about. Wow. Now, ain't nobody gonna say nothing about it because most of your pastors and your deacons, they in it. all of your presidents, all of your civil rights leaders are Mason. They Mason, man. Now, Watch this, y'all. Uh, Brother Montague, you can say it's not true. I can call three Masons in here right now that say it is true. If you disagree, then I'm sorry. Maybe that's not how you became a Mason. <laughs> but I'm telling you what the real deal is. Okay? <laughs> now, stay with me. The first three degrees of being a Mason. I'm going to get to the music first. Everybody, music. And they still had murders today, mm, Brother Johnson. Yes. I'm going to show you that they killed by these numbers today. And that's what I've been proving every week. Okay? But today I want to go back, Deacon, and just give everybody a foundation. Yes, sir. Then I'll get to the, the recent news and, and murders. Now watch this. The first three degrees are called the blue degree. And when you're in Dealing with Freemasonry, you are learning the knowledge, and as you get the knowledge, Deacon, you get to a level of under or overstanding, as they say, and when you get to that level, you're dealing with the third degree. Then yes. You know what's so strange about this, Deacon? Yes, sir. When you're talking to somebody and you're asking them a lot of questions, mm -hmm. they say, don't give me the, the third degree. That's where you get it from. You get it from the Masons. Right. Okay? Now, I want you to get this. The third degree represents a certain level of understanding or overstanding. That third degree is why it's called the blue. Yeah. So, Deacon, if I say something you didn't expect it, I'm going to say that happened out the what? Out the blue. 
Oh, now y'all going to get this thing and understand it. So now let's do music first, Deacon. And I got to move quick. Oh, All rhythm blue. and blues. Notice it's called the blues. Got the blue in it. And the reason why people say when you're sad, you feel blue. That's right. Is because there's a thing called the chakras. Ah, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. You ever heard of the chakras? Yes, sir. And the sixth chakra is the blue chakra. Okay? Now, we don't subscribe to the chakras if we believe the scripture. That's right. But that is a a, a, a belief that's rooted out of ancient mysticism, and yeah. it is, in fact, a, a, a reality. Now, watch this. The blues. The Masons, Deacon control every watch this they control the titles to songs yeah they control how long a record is okay they control which records blow up and do well i believe that yes sir now let's start with the blues you ready to go yes sir the king of the blues is bb king bb king man i'm gonna name some titles of bb king songs and show you this is no joke Okay? That's right, Brother Rip. That's what they said. Down is the chakras. That's all rooted in mysticism. Now, I want you to get this. B.B. King did these, these titles I'm going to name, to name a few. He did a song called The Other Night Blues. He did another song called B.B. Blues. <laughs> he did a... Huh? <laughs> no, I'm laughing at him. He did another song called why I Sing the Blues. Mm -hmm. He did another song called Blues for Me. Mm -hmm. Blues Stay Away. Shouting the Blues. Blue Shadow. Blues for Me. Lonely and Blue. Mm -hmm. Talking the Blues. Blues at Midnight. Worrying Blues. Going to Chicago Blues. Are you ready for this, Deacon? Yeah. What number Mason did I say? What degree? Third. Guess what this name of the song B.B. King did? Three o'clock blues. Yeah, I'm looking right at it, too. <laughs> you see it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not right five o'clock, not two o'clock, three o'clock. Three. Now, somebody said, what about rock and roll? Remember, Deacon, rocks, hammers, uh, stones are yeah. all Masonic symbols. Yeah. When you talk about Stonehenge, when you talk about laying the cornerstone, the judge has a what? A gavel or a yeah. hammer? That is all <laughs> Masonic. I had to laugh at something that came to my mind just now. Go ahead, Deacon. About the hammer and the numbers. Because <laughs> I'm tripping because MC Hammer, when he went broke, when, all, when his first year he made, no, at his peak, he made $33 million in a year. Now, remember that when we get into our new. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. 33. 33. Blue, third degree. Now, and watch now, this. It's all fake. Yeah. Now, let's do rock and roll. Who's the king of rock, they say? Elvis? They say Elvis Presley. Yeah. We all know Elvis Presley bit it from a black man, but we're going to leave that yeah. alone. Yeah. Elvis Presley is the king of rock. So, let me name what songs he did. You ready, Deacon? Uh-huh. He did Steamroller Blues, Blue Suede Shoes. Remember that one? Don't mm -hmm. step on my Blue Suede Shoes. Yeah. Blue Moon, which is mighty funny because that's what we're going to talk about tonight. Blue Hawaii, yeah. which is mighty funny because something happened in Hawaii last week. Yeah. Watch this, Deacon. Moody Blues, <laughs> Blue River. Uh, crying in the rain blues. Yeah, blue Christmas. Mm -hmm. You're the only star in my blue heaven. <laughs> Elvis Presley did all things tributes to me to Masonic symbolism. The blue, the third degree. I know what you mean, CD. You I did that same, but no. Watch this, brother. So, Deacon, you uh -huh. mean to tell me the Masons? which uses symbols of a hammer, 
of a gavel, and I'm about to get to, I'm gonna get to rap and hip hop in a minute. No doubt. I'm gonna show you that they also control uh, names of groups and other things in music. So that's why you got the Rolling Stones. Yeah. Watch this, nigga. Remember the stone, the rock, the hammer? Yeah, and the Rolling Stones did something called Andrew Blues. They did a song called Cocksucker Blues. <laughs> they did another, yeah, that's a real song. They did a song called Confession of the that. Blues. Yeah, they did a song called Cook Cook Blues, Fancy Man Blues, Fancy Man Blues, Straight Cat Blues, Summertime Blues, Ventilator Blues. <laughs> By the rolling what? Stones. Stay with me. Now, Deacon, remember the guy we told you that death was going to come near him? If, yeah. If the government... There was a rock and roll singer. I thought I'd add him in so y'all can see this ain't no joke. Ruben Wright, I was going to say that too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a lot more than what I'm naming. What's up, my brother Foon? What's up, man? Deacon, who was the guy that we told everybody to watch death around the Super Bowl? Bob Dylan. So let's see what he, because he was a, a famous singer. Let's see what songs he did to see if he was a Mason. Bob Dylan sang Tangled Up in the Blue. Freight Train Blues, Bob Dylan Blues, North <laughs> County Blues, North or North Country Blues, Black Crow Blues, Baby yeah. Blue, Tombstone Blues, Memphis Blues, and Blue Moon. Mm -hmm. Bell Tower Blues. Are you, are you starting to see? Are you starting to see a pattern? What's up, brother Fuma? What's, What's up, bro? Shout out to you, man. Do y'all see how this is not a coincidence, Deacon? No, it's not. Now, let's get to what yeah. everybody want to see. Hip-hop. Yeah. And you know what's so funny, Deacon? A symbol that everybody need to watch out for, and I'm going to get you to pull it up on your computer in a minute, is the double H. Whenever you see the double H, that is a Masonic symbol. Okay? Will Smith did a movie called Hitch. Yeah. Pull that movie up, Deacon. I'm going to show you them what I'm talking about. Everybody share, like, and invite. We ought to be at 200 people by now. This is the best information on Facebook Live anywhere. And we're just getting started. Do y'all see that? That's a Masonic. See how he's standing? That is a Masonic stance. And you see the double H's. Like H.H. H. Gregg. Yes, yes Sister yeah. Allen. You see the double H's? See how they emphasize the H, Deacon? Yeah. Now, that's why you have hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Because they created the double H. Now, stay with me, Deacon. LL Cool J was known for rolling up one pants leg, right? Yeah. Guess where he got that from? What's that? Rolling up one pants leg is a Masonic symbol. And anybody that want to know about the, Mas the Masons, you roll up one pant leg, pants leg in the Masonic ritual and you blindfold yourself. Other Masons know what that means. Okay? So when LL Cool J rolls up one pants leg, that's a Masonic symbol. They even own hip-hop. Yeah, they is. Let's go to more hip-hop. Now... Deacon, all of your games are created by the Masons. Yeah. Like the Bloods and the Crips. Yeah. Which is red and blue. No doubt. Just like the Democrats. Red and blue. Red and blue. Cold and one blood. day next week, Deacon, I'm going to crack open the red and blue code yeah. and rip y'all to pieces. I'm going to tear it up. Oh, yeah. Hey, sister, brother James Jones, what's up? Sister what's Sandra up, Jones, welcome. Now, brother, let's deal with hip-hop some more. In hip-hop, the Masonic symbols that's over hip-hop is the G. Yeah. What is the symbol for Mason's Deacon? The G. The Masonic G. Yeah. Now, that is why everything that's done is done, and we call each other, what's up, my G? Yeah. I say it okay? all the time. And... One of the Masonic symbols is the Grim Reaper, yeah. who is the, the death symbol that has on a what? 
A hood. Because we associate with being from the hood. You want to know why there's so much murder in the hood? Yeah. Because it's the Grim Reaper, the symbol of death. Are you listening? Yeah. The symbol of death, Deacon, that is from the hood. hood. No doubt. Now, I'm going to show you this. They tell you G is, G is for gangster, but it's the Masonic G, and I'm going to prove it. Snoop Dogg did these songs. Ain't nothing but a G thing. Yeah. Uh, and remember this. Masons worship something called Isis. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, not Isis. Uh, Iris. Uh, Cyrus. Mm. The uh -huh. dog god. Yeah. Could you pull up Cyrus the dog? Oh, I don't see this. What's up, Inventor James White? I see he putting eyeballs. I see you too. What's happening? What's Bobby? Warren G. Oh, I'm coming, Sister Cooper. Shout out to our research lady today. Warren what G. What you say? What you say? It's called again? Oh, the Sirius. It's called the uh, uh, Cyrus. You know, like Sirius, uh -huh. the dog, the dog god. And it's gonna be the picture that they always see of the dog. That's right, Brother Montague. The spelling is important. There's witchcraft in how words are spelled. That's why it's called spelling. No, that's not it. I'm talking really? about that Egyptian dog. Oh, uh, the dog star. What's up, Brother Dominique Jones? Osiris or Sirius. Now, I'm going to keep moving. The dog is a heavy symbol in Freemasonry. That's why in the military they wear dog tags, Deacon. Yeah. And what do we call our friends? We call our homeboys my dog, and we call our homegirls, pardon my English, you, you but that's doing? my bitch. That's it right there. And that's why, that's why, Sister Ashley, double OG. Okay? Now, Jay-Z is 100% Freemason. Could you pull up the, the, the Masonic symbol? The Rock! Pull up Jay-Z doing that for me, D. That's exactly right. You got to know the etymology of all words. See that symbol that Jay-Z does? You think he's just doing that? Look at the white man right there, the Jew, the fake Jew that's doing it. Look at that. You see that? That's called the Masonic. Watch this. That is the Masonic diamond. Okay? The Rock, Rockefeller. I, I ain't ready to go there yet, Brother Adams. Y'all got to let me finish. I give y'all a few truths, and y'all want me to tell you what comes next. Let's finish getting this truth. Shout out to you, though. Now, Deacon, pull up the lyrics to the song Jay-Z did called D-Evil. So they won't think I'm making this up. Let's hear it from Jay-Z's own mouth. I'm not going to play it. Matter of fact, yeah, play I don't want to play it because I don't want them to mess with the video. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 because you ain't got the um, disclaimer in it. I don't have the disclaimer. Watch this. Jay-Z did a song, and he said these words in D-Evils. Yeah. Uh, you found it already? Uh-huh. All right. It should say something like Illuminati. Want my mind, soul, and my body. Illuminati yeah. want my mind, soul, yeah. and my body. Yeah. Well, what does he say after that? Is that it? Secret society trying to keep an eye on me. Secret society yeah. trying to keep an eye on me. Yeah, I know that. I know that joint. Okay. But that joint, now, that joint was that was um sample from Prodigy. From Prodigy. Yep. Okay. Which we know happened to him based on that. We know that Prodigy was killed by these same numbers, and I'll show yep. you that later too. Yep. Okay. Prodigy was killed. He did not choke on the egg. They killed him <laughs> by these this particular code, and I yeah, can prove it. 
Yes, sir. Now stay with me. Remember House of Pain, Deacon? Yeah, I remember them Everlast and them. Jump around. Yeah, Everlast. And, uh, if you pull up the lyrics, you don't have to do it. But in the song, in the song, Jump Around, that everybody knows, Jump Around. Mm -hmm. In that song, he actually comes out. How do we miss this, Deacon? And he says, the Masonic, he actually says about being a Mason, 33 degrees. He actually says it. Trying to see if I can find it in the lyrics. Je uh, and if not, everybody can go and pull it up. Mm -hmm. Trust me, I know it's there. Jump around. Now, what else do the Masons run? I want you to see this. So now that we know the Masons run rhythm and blues, rock and roll, hip hop, and there's much more to hip hop, but I'll give you more. Okay? I'll give you more. Where do I want to go next? The Masonic symbols are rocks, stones, and hammers. So that's why you say things like this, Deacon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sister Delana Greenhow, I'll show you later that he supposedly died of sickle cell. But he died on sickle cell day. Yeah. It was all planned. It was he was killed because he hadn't been sick for a long time. He had no sickle cell issues for years. Yeah, and we proved yeah. that he was killed by those numbers, killed. but we'll get back yeah. to that. Now, Deacon, why do you think people say I'm between a rock <laughs> and a hard place? Or you say when you're not far, you say I'm a stone throw away. Uh. Or you say, watch this, Deacon, I'm a chip off the old block. You know why? In masonry, the master mason is the block. And the new mason deacon is called the chip. Uh -huh. The little chip that learns from the old what? Block. Block, yeah. You with me? I'm that's just giving everybody a brief tutorial. So the sun is the chip off the block. And... What's up, what's up, I just got a time? message from C.J. Johnson saying he was booted out. They're wow. booting people out now. It's no telling how many people I really got that would tune in to me. They mess okay. with my numbers every week. They don't that's, like what I'm saying, and I know that they, they sent to me. So I guess that's now, when, you, when you're coming out of high school and you and you, you know you are you are athlete, you a blue chip recruit. You are what kind of chip? You a blue chip recruit. Do you see that? Yeah. Anything that's elite is blue. That's why Jay, when you're building. When you're building, you got to build with a master plan because Mason, Freemasonry is about building. Yeah. So they build with a blueprint. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. No See doubt. what I'm saying? No doubt. And then, Deacon, so you got a blue chip, and I'm building with a blueprint. Yeah. And Jay Z got a daughter that he actually named Blue Ivy. Blue Ivy, yeah. And an album called Blueprint. Blue, two album Blueprint, and, the song Blue Magic. And then, oh, come on. And then you got blue pill. Yeah. So understand that this is not coincidental. The Masons control every genre of music. Yeah. Now, why do you think you got blues clues? <laughs> so now, Deacon, look at the hammer, the rock, and every title. You ready? Yeah. MC Hammer. Yeah. Kid Rock. Chris Rock. Chris Rock. Rock. <laughs> you ready for this, Deacon? Uh huh. Blockbuster. Remember, the Master Mason is called the Block. Yeah. So, whenever you get a hit movie, uh -huh. the Masons make the movies and they call it a Block Buster. Check this out. All right. What color is... Come on, Deacon! Come on, man! <laughs> why I'm hype over here. Hey, why that joke blue, man? <laughs> of we course know we know why it's blue. We know why it's blue. <laughs> you ready for this, Deacon? Yeah. Rolling Stone. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rolling Rock Beer. Yeah. 
Pod Rock Cafe. Mm -hmm. Jim Henson, who was a Mason, Fraggle Rock. Mm -hmm. Planet Rock. Rocket Man. The Rocketeer. Yeah. And when you're doing bad, Deacon, you hit rock. Bottom. Oliver Stone. That's not a real name. That's not mm -hmm. his real name. Mm -hmm. Sharon Stone. Yeah. Not the real name. These are my Flintstones. Mm -hmm. uh, Blackstone, Firestone, Stonewall Jackson. And when mm -hmm. you get drunk, Deacon, you get smoked mm -hmm. out, they say you stony. You stone. <laughs> and, and guess what, Deacon? When you get your drink and you getting stoned, you put it on the rocks. <laughs> and you tell him, you tell the boxer to give me another hit. Mm-hmm. With the hammer. Okay. All right, let's do movies for a minute. Or you say, when you're drunk, you say you hammered. <laughs> you hammered? <laughs> Come on, man. I'm smashed. I'm smashed. <laughs> Shout out to Bruce Brawler, Bruce Waller Jr. What's up, brother? What's in. up, brother Bruce? What's up, man? Everybody follow him. He's the primal man. He had us as a guest. We had a great time with brother Bruce Waller Jr. Just came in. Shout out to you. Yeah, the rock now, bottom. Watch this, Deacon. <laughs> she put blue magic hair grease. <laughs> and I know about that. I guess my daddy had to be a real mason. I put some in my hair before I came home. <laughs> Break of mine. All right, let's go, y'all. Crown Royal. Give me mine on the rocks, rock. Fuma Brown. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> All right, watch this, Deacon. Walt Disney is a 33-degree mason. That's right. And there's a man named James Cameron. You know who that is right up the that top of your familiar. head? That sounds familiar. That sounds real I'm going to tell you who James Cameron is. Is that the guy from Star Wars? Well, you know, James Cameron is the director of Touchstone. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Thank you. Listen to what I just said. Touchstone. Touch yeah. There it is again. And watch this, Deacon. Paramount. Paramount. Yeah. Dealing with the rocks and the stones yeah. again. Um... When you do well, you make a smash hit. Yeah. And when you play sports, <coughs> baseball is all Masonic. What's the shape of a baseball diamond? It's a diamond, like a, like the jump to G in. Yeah. That's why they made it. Now, Deacon, this is going to blow you away. You ready for this? Uh-huh. When you make, a, when, you, when you get a round hit, you call it a hit in uh -huh. baseball. Uh, you get three strikes. How many strikes? Remember we talked about the three, the yeah. blue degree? Yeah. You get three strikes, three outs, and it's three bases. Mm. And it's three, watch this, three outfielders, nine defenders, mm -hmm. three times three, mm -hmm. and it, all the bases are 90 feet in between them. Wow, 90 degree angles. Wow. Because that's wow. what the, the angles. Yeah. The yeah. Masonic compass is 47 point. That's it. 47.5 apiece. Yeah. Now. You remember this? Uh oh. Look at that. A piece of the rock. A what color is it, Deacon? That's ain't blue, man. It's blue. they not listening, Deacon. This stuff ain't by coincidence, man. Ain't no, you know why, you know why I'm doing this tonight? Mm -hmm. I'm showing people that there cannot be this many coincidences. This is done intentionally. Yeah. Okay. Now, all empires and referees wear black and white. Mm -hmm. That's called the Masonic colors. And that's why when you go to the race car, the Indy 500. Yeah. There's a checkered flag. What color yeah. is it? Black and white. Black and white. Okay. Somebody said I'm yelling. I'm just, I mean, listen, I, I feel like people can't hear me. I'm trying to make sure y'all can hear me. And maybe I am yelling. If the yelling bothers you, beat it. Goodbye. <laughs> I got 115 people right now that's listening. <laughs> now. Your preacher get up and yell at you every Sunday. He you ain't saying nothing. You don't say nothing. You don't say nothing about that. All right, Deacon. So now, I need everybody. We're getting ready to take off to another level now, Deacon. 
We get ready to take off to a whole nother level. Let's get it. Now I'm going to show you that everything in your history book, uh -huh. everybody need to share, like, and invite. Your whole history book is totally made up and scripted by the Masons. Thank you, Sister Evans. Thank you. Brother CD, go ahead, man. <laughs> Thank you, Brother Chad. All right. Your entire history book, Deacon. Yeah. Hey, Brother Wright, your entire history book is totally made up by Masonic symbolism, and I'm going to get to numbers later. You ready, Deacon? I'm ready. The numbers one, three, five, seven, nine, that's right, Brother Jane, 11, 13, and 33. Go. Let me tell them to you again. Three, five, seven, nine, 11, 13, and 33. Uh, watch this. All of those numbers, look what Sister Moore said, prime numbers. Watch this. Mm -hmm. And all, all the multiples. Yeah. And all the multiples of those numbers. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, have all esoteric meanings to them. So let me show you how this works in history. I have proven the deaths. We have told people that would come up dead by the government's numbers. These numbers... They dictate how history is or how history is made, how dates are carried out. Deacon, you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Numbers dictate when they deal with monuments, when they stage false flags, when they plan killings. They do all of this by these numbers. Mm -hmm. Okay? And these numbers are the gang's fingerprint. Every gang throw up a gang sign. Yeah. Or they do graffiti or they got symbols to represent that they've been there. Yeah. Your Freemasons are the same way. Your Zionist Jews are the same way. They leave fingerprints on everything they do by the numbers. But the problem is nobody know the numbers. And tonight I'm going to show you. Then I'm going to get to the news. So don't go nowhere. I'm going to get to the news that happened this week and show you that it's fake. Like we do every week, Deacon. Every week, man. That's what we do. Now watch this. Let's take the number. We already did the number three, right? Mm-hmm. Let's do the number five. Okay. Why do you think you have a five-star general? Yeah. And not only a five-star general, but the number five represents the male principle energy. That's what they yeah. use it for. It represents the male principle energy. Now, here's a rule I want to give you about numbers, Deacon. Mm-hmm. Any number three times, it represents the mass intensification of that number. Okay. The max intensification. Okay. So if I say the number five, and I want to, in symbolism, I right. want to stress and intensify that number, mm -hmm. I'm going to say five, five, five. Okay. Which represents death. Okay. The number six is intensified to be six, six, right. six. That's right. You got five senses, Brother Foster. Now watch this. I'm going to show you the Mason. All of your boy and girl bands, most of them were fives. Mm -hmm. The Jackson. Five. Uh, NSYNC. Mm -hmm. Maroon Five. Uh, the the Pussycat Dolls, mm -hmm. New Kids uh, on the Block. New Kids on the Block, the Block. The Back, the On the Block, there you mm -hmm. go. The Backstreet Boys. Yeah. Notice they're all five. Now, Deacon, I'm going to need your computer right now. Fifth mm -hmm. Harmony. See that? Now, watch this, Deacon. You know how to recognize which companies and corporations New edition. That's right. Mm -hmm. Osmond Singers. Five. Let me tell you why, Deacon. Five represents something very important in Masonic symbolism. Here it is. Okay. Whenever you see a, the five high beats, duh, how did I forget that one? <laughs> Thank you, Sister Rhonda. Now watch this. Deacon, 
every corporate logo that's owned and ran by Masons, mm -hmm. they do something to the letter E. Okay. Because E is the the fifth letter. Now watch this, Here DJ. I'm going to show y'all a trick they don't want y'all to know. The Temptations. Yes, mm. Mother Mallory. Now watch this, Deacon. I need you to pull up on your computer, Dale. Give me the logo for Dale. I'm going to show you. They always tweak the letter E. Notice this, y'all. Do y'all see this? In the Dell Computers logo, which is owned and ran by Masons, yep, it's which blue. letter do they make funny, Deacon? That E. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, you still here? They're trying to kick me out. You still here? Yeah, I'm here. They tried to pause me out. Oh, man. Come on, man. Now, watch this, Deacon. Watch this. Let's see if this is really true, that they always do something to the... Fifth letter, which is the E. Let's get Josh Glad out of here. Yeah, let's send him to the block. Goodbye. Yeah, you're going to the block, bro. Man, you late for looking stupid and at, looking at the wall looking dumb. <laughs> night, night. All right, now watch this, Deacon. The, the, the fifth letter, which is E, this is how the Masons recognize when they are owned. Thank you for the love, by the way. Thank you for the love. Now watch this, y'all. Let's see if this works all the way through, Deacon. Pull up E-Trade. Notice it's called E-Trade. Mm -hmm. What letter is different? Watch how they separate the E. The E, yep. But hold on for a minute. Deacon, pull up Intel. And some of these logos, you got to get the older ones or different ones. So, but watch this. I'm going to show you that this is all fixed. What letter is different in Intel, Deacon? The E. They always drop the E because that's the fifth quintessential. It is very important. You still think it's a coincidence, Deacon? Watch this. What about A and E? How about eBay? Pull up eBay. <laughs> Look at the E. Yep. eBay. How about, since I like to play PlayStation, EA Sports is in the game. Look at it. Yep. EA yep. Sports. Hold on for a minute. Pull up Intel inside. That's another logo. Intel inside. Look at that E. And that's the look at that. And that's the ring around Saturn. Which is important with logos as well. Pull up Acer, Deacon. Acer. Now. And some of, that's not the right one, but they have other logos where they emphasize the E. Stay with me. Now, so we just dealt with the number five, right, Deacon? Uh-huh. I could tell you more about five, but I'm trying to move forward. Seven, you got nine, 11, and I'll get back to nine and 11s and sevens when I go over the nine, 11, which I'm not going to do tonight. But I have done it before. Now I want you to look at number 13. Now, everybody, I want you to get ready to go on a timeline with me. And by the way, nobody donated this week. So I'm telling you, after we get finished this, somebody need to donate because I'm getting ready to show you that everything you learned in school was scripted and fake, and it was made up by this code. Okay? So let's go down to history, Deacon. The uh -huh. number 13. They call it the unlucky 13. Yes. It ain't unlucky. I'll tell you what it is. It's Masonic. Okay? The, the Masonic number 13. Alexander the Great. You heard of him before, Deacon? Uh-huh. He ruled for 13 years. <laughs> <laughs> 
The story history says he bought his horse from a man named Vesepula, and I may be pronouncing that wrong, for 13 gold coins, and he died at 33. Yep. Friday the 13th. He died on Friday the 13th. See how fake that is? That didn't just happen. That was made up. Now watch this, Deacon. Remember the Salem witch trial? Mm-hmm. The Salem witch trial was all fake or scripted. Let me say it that way. Notice there were 13 women on trial or 13 women executed during the Salem witch trial. By the way, some of y'all is not saying nothing. Talk to me tonight. I want to make sure somebody other than the same few can hear me and are with me. If y'all enjoying it, stay with me. Now watch this, Deacon. Let's give them some more history book. Mm -hmm. Your whole history book is a lie, by the way. Okay, I already proved Sandy Hook did not happen. Remember Sandy Hook Elementary School? Oh, yeah. It did not happen. Now watch this. Shout out to Brother Tim. I'm getting there in a minute. In 1913, Deacon, the Federal Reserve uh, Bank formed. And it printed its first bill in 1933. That's crazy, man. In 1933. You see it? <laughs> 13 and 33 again. For everybody coming in here, don't worry, I'm going to get you the news and the sports. I'm trying to show y'all that this stuff is real. We're looking at the number 13 right now. You ready for some more history, Deacon? No doubt. I need you to pull, you might have to pull this one up. They ain't going to believe this. In 1948, the Rockefellers built the, the new Rockefeller building. Guess where they put the address? At 1313, East 16th Street. I'm trying, Brother Bruce. I'm trying. Now, I'm going to keep on moving. Watch this. Yes, there were 13 original colonies, but they were actually 13 companies. Now, watch this. In... Uh, in 1962, Deacon, there was a Cuban Missile Crisis uh -huh. that lasted for 13 days, and it was 13 months before JFK to the date that JFK was assassinated on November the 22nd, which is 11-22. What? 11-22 is still 30. 33. Stay with me. NASA is fake. When I say fake, it is an organization that is ran and scripted by these Jews. Mm -hmm. They did not do what they say they did. Mm -hmm. NASA have not been all over the moon and walking in space and doing all this other stuff they say they're doing. They're lying. NASA, yeah, I said it. I'm going to you know show you. They, they, they ain't did that mess in a long time, so all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? It just... Why well, stop all it's, of a sudden? Let me show you his fate. The Apollo 13, Deacon. <laughs> what's the name of that? What's the name of that rocket? Apollo 13. Oh, that's a coincidence. I think not. <laughs> the Apollo 13 launched at 13:13 military time, which that's is 1:13. It's 1:13 our time. And it crashed two days later on April the 13th, Friday the 13th. Man, that's crazy, man. I'm just showing you your history is fake. It ain't that many coincidences in the world. Okay? Can't get around that. By the way, Deacon, Michael Jordan. Uh-huh. Who was chosen? I already scripted and showed you why his daddy died when he died and all that. His daddy died on the 23rd. He was number 23. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. 
Michael Jordan retired for the first time in his 13th season. Yeah. On January 13th, 1999. And watch this, Deacon. Think about the movies that's named 13, like 13 yeah. Ghosts. Yeah, Friday the 13th. Friday the 13th. Mm -hmm. Like my brother said. 13 men and a gun. And when you go to the movies, Deacon, to see if it's something you should take your child to, uh -huh. you see if it's rated PG. 13. <laughs> Now, Deacon, I need you to pull up some logos. McDonald's and all your major chain restaurants, 13 candles, Sister Ashley, yes. Watch this. All of your major restaurants, oh, that's right, Brother Bruce, order out of chaos. They organize this and they plan chaos to make us think this is a generic or organic event. It is not. Now, watch this. Uh, McDonald's and all your major chains, Deacon, are Masonic owned. The letter M is the what number letter? 13. Why do you think, Deacon, the, pull up a McDonald's M, uh, logo. Do you see what that is, Deacon? Uh-huh. That's not an M. That's the number 13. And the M is the 13th letter. Yep. And if y'all think that's something, go to Arby's. Because I can, I, I can taste a car, uh, uh, I can taste a quarter away right now. <laughs> you see, Arby's is also a wood number, Deacon. 13. <laughs> they don't see it. It's gang symbolism. And of course, Deacon, when you're going to get your good candy, you want to get M&M's. You want to get your M&M's. <laughs> the double M. The double M. The double M. And that's why the rapper is named M&M. Uh -huh. But it's not just the candy, it's Marshall Mathers. M&M. -M. Marshall Mathers, like Mickey Mouse, Mickey Mouse, yeah, like Marky Mark, <laughs> like uh, Marilyn Manson. We could go on and on. Now, let's go and deal with some more of these M and M's. These thirty-three. I'm just showing you that history is fake. Deacon, you ready for this? No doubt. Did you know the United Nations? By the way, pull up the United Nations logo. I'm going to show you this. That, 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 that they, are, they are ran. The whole world is ran by this same code. What color is that, Deacon? <coughs> it's straight blue. And if you read it and you, you look at the numbers and look at how it's sectioned off, it's actually sectioned off in 33 parts. But now I want you to do something, Deacon. Pull this up. Uh -huh. This is going to blow your mind. This is going to blow your mind. On March the 3rd, 2003. Now watch what that is, Deacon. That's three, three, three. The UN called for a World Prayer Day. I'm showing you that they do everything by these numbers. See yep. if we can find that. I just seen 33rd anniversary in there too, but watch yep. this. There it is right there, 33rd anniversary. <laughs> All right, watch this. I just saw some on March the 3rd, 2003. The UN yep. called for world prayer. The world Prayer Center is calling all Christians to a worldwide day of prayer on Monday, March 3rd, 2003. At 3 30 p.m. That's what the part they ain't gonna tell you. They called it at 3 3 30 p.m., which is 33. 
Yep. To petition yes, God about that wreck. Now, Deacon, I'm going to blow your mind. Pull up the United Nations building. I don't mess around. United Nations building. You see that building right there, Deacon? Uh huh. That building is exactly the United Nations building is 39 stories high, which is 13 times three. Remember, I told you the multiples. Yep. And guess how it's divided? How's that? Into 33 sections. <laughs> and what cool. color is it? That's ain't blue. And the building is blue. Yep, blue windows in there. And then you look, you said uh, 39, which is the number associated with New York City. Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, God, thank you, Dick. Every, you're exactly right. Everything with New York is 39. That's why... I, I don't know what I wouldn't do without you sometime, man. I appreciate you got it. <laughs> That's a key point because we've been telling people whenever you go to New York, shout out to Sister Brenda Siders. We've been telling them it's gonna be 39. Big Apple. Now, Deacon, do you still think this is a coincidence that they built mm. a building and they actually did the amount of floors and divided it into 33 sections and painted it blue? Nah. Somebody's telling us something, but nobody's asking no questions. But truth of the matter, Warfare Wednesday, the word church is giving it to you straight tonight. Brother Bruce Wallace said, Blue Moon, 31. I'm going to go there. It's 13. Yes. And that's why when something happened out of the strange, they say it happens every Blue Moon. Every Blue Moon. CD said, about, said tag me in. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. The little bird for Twitter is blue too, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But watch this. Watch this now. Even the metric system, Deacon, how we measure things mm -hmm. is created by the Masons. Yep. I'm going to get to Washington, D.C. too, Sister Graves. Don't even worry about it. I won't even get to everything tonight because there's so much I can't give you everything. So, Deacon, the metric system is 13 standard inches equals 33 metric centimeters. <laughs> Look at how they do this. 13 metric, uh, 13 standard inches equals 33 metric inches. Centimeters, I mean. Centimeters, pardon me. And when, and when you're doing degrees, Deacon, uh -huh. Facebook is blue. I just saw that. When you're doing degrees, Deacon, the degrees, when things begin to melt, is 33. Yeah, yeah. See how they plan everything. By the way, Deacon, they told you that the human feet, okay, or the uh -huh. human foot, has 33 muscles. Look how they come <laughs> up with this thing. The Indy 500, shout out to uh, Brother Mallory, race car fan, the Indy 500, Deacon, starts off with three rows of 11 cars. 33 cars. Which is 33 cars. All right? Now, the queen mother, whoever that is, I'm just looking up 33s, died, her death time was 315, and of course, you might want to look that up, the queen mother. Was thirty? She died at three fifteen, and that means both hands are on the three, which is thirty three again. They make up the death dates. They make up it all. Yep. And it's getting late. Let me see. What time is it, Deacon? Uh, eleven on the head. All right. When people start to drop off, I know why it's getting late. But here is the thing: share, like, and invite, because I ain't done. I haven't even done the news yet, Deacon. If you think that's some, um, the Windows logo. Yeah. It's 33 window panes. Okay. 
The Windows logo is 33 window pane. Let's keep going, Deacon. Disneyland has a club called Club 33. Yeah. By the way, James Cameron, remember that director? Yeah. He made the Titanic. When they made the Titanic, it began playing. They went to, to, to do the opening playing of it. They started at exactly 3.33 p.m. <laughs> and last but not least, before I move on tonight, because people are dropping off, watch this, Deacon. The emergency dialing number, these are all symbolic, Brother Bruce. The Masons use numbers, mm -hmm. and there's a system that the Jews cool. use. And we haven't even gotten to the heavy party numbers. This is the basic numbers, Deacon. Yeah, right. We haven't even got to Gematria or Kabbalah. Yeah. Which is how they stage death and news events. Watch this, Deacon. I like what Mr. just posted. That was tight. What's that? 33 and a third record player. And Naked Gun, 33 and a third. Yeah. The movie. Yeah. Well, Deacon, guess what? In 1968, they made the emergency dialing number 911. 911. In other words, before 1968, you couldn't call, you couldn't call the police 911. <laughs> 30, 33 years after 1968 when it happened, uh, 9 was 9-11. Yeah. When they took the Twin Towers down. 2001. Now, let's get to the news, y'all, so we can get ready to go. Huh? It, it, go ahead, it, it, and the two towers beside themselves look like the number. Yes, sir. That's what they are. Mm -hmm. Now, Deacon, everybody who left, they missed out because I'm about to get it really popping to close out. Now I'm going to show you how all news is scripted. So, Deacon, can you pull up the calculator that we go uh -huh. to that we've introduced? It was introduced to me. Shout out to Chris. Shout out to uh, Zach. Shout out to... Uh, Minister JT, who put me on to it. JT, uh, shout out to everybody that's been doing it. Brother Rip, I've seen doing it. Brother Lawrence Robinson has been doing it before. Some of the people that have had an idea about this before anybody on Facebook was talking about it, I give credit to people who knew about it early. Now, I'm getting ready to decode the news. Everybody that's ready to decode the news, put ready quickly because we're down to 108 and we shouldn't be. We ought to be up. And I'm not going to do a lot of news, Deacon. I'm going to show you how everything that happened today and yesterday was fake. Was scripted. <laughs> Sister Moore says she ready. Yeah, Channel 6 Studio is blue because of the all CNI is CBS. Remember the eye? That's a Masonic symbol. That eye is inside of the pyramid. That's what the Super Bowl is all about. The Super Bowl is about the red, white, and blue fighting against the green dollar, Deacon. Uh -huh. the, green, the green dollar is the eagle. Yep, the bald eagle. The, the Philadelphia Eagles are green. The red, white, and blue represents the people, the patriot, and they're fighting against taking, getting rid of the dollar. Uh -huh. But stay with me for a minute. A, play, a baseball player died today in the news. A black baseball player named Oscar Gamble. I want to show you how this works, Deacon. I want to show you that this man, see that fro? Uh huh. He was known for his afro. You see that picture on the You see how he looked like Homie the Clown? Yeah. He was known for his afro. So go to go to your Jamatronator. Let's see. What happened? He died today. Matter of fact, let's pull up his news first about him dying. I'm sorry, Deacon. Let's go to the news about him dying. ESPN. Oscar Gamble, who hit 200 home runs, dies of tumor at age 68. So Oscar Gamble dies at 68. Now stay with me, Deacon. I'm going to show you how this works. 
He's known for his afro, right? Uh huh. Go to your Jamaican and put in afro. Sixty-eight. And he died at what age? Sixty-eight. Watch this, Deacon. What's today's date, Deacon? Uh, January thirty-first. Thirty-one is the reverse of what number? Thirteen. Thirteen. Now, strange enough, Deacon, this dude died 42 days after his birthday. I'm going to show you they killed him. <laughs> 42. He died 42 days after his birthday, Deacon. Are you listening uh -huh. to me? Yes, sir. This is going to mess you up right here, bro. Punch his name in in the calculator right now. Oscar Gamble. <laughs> and we already know that 42, Deacon, is the number that they do stuff to black people about. Yeah. And if you don't believe me, remember Muhammad Ali? Yeah. Who was born in 1942? That's right. Punch, punch in Muhammad Ali real quick. They think I'm joking. It's called black shaming. That's right, Sister Tanika Moore. 42. And he, he was born in 42. He developed Parkinson's, diagnosed age. with Parkinson's at age 42. Holy smoke. Now, hold on, Deacon. Just like Tuskegee, Herman. Tuskegee, just like, uh, which is, of course, known for black folks, just like uh, Jackie Robinson. Yeah. Now, Deacon, I'm a, this is going to make the hair stand up on people's neck. Don't go anywhere. Notice that this baseball player died by the numbers 42, right? Right. Pull up Jackie Robinson's birthday for me right now, and I'm, I'm going home after this, and I'm already at home. This is so sweet. <laughs> I got to go home, and I'm already at home. <laughs> I want you to pull up Jackie Robinson's birthday so you can see they killed this man by the numbers. What's that date say, Deacon? January 31st, 1919. What's today's date? January 31st. You see, this is a tribute to Jackie Robinson, who wore number 42. Yeah. Whose birthday is the same day that this black baseball player who's known for his afro dies on the same day. Yeah. And by the way, Jackie Robinson wasn't the first black baseball player. The first black baseball player was a man named Moses Fleetwood. Yeah. Punch that in. He said, yeah. Punch that in, Deacon. <laughs> Moses, Moses Fleetwood was the first black baseball player for real. 59. That's the other one. But let me tell you, Moses Fleetwood is also 42 in another cipher, and I'm going to show it to you. But, but stay in there with me. Guess how many games Moses Fleetwood played in his career? 42. 42. Mm -hmm. Everything that got to do with black people shaming is 42. They killed this black baseball player as a Super Bowl ritual. I told you people going to be dropping dead, and they are dropping dead. And they killed him on the black baseball ma man, Jackie Robinson's birthday by the same numbers, 42, on January 31st. Now watch this, Deacon. Punch in nigger. That's the most shameful word for black people. What number come up, Deacon? Four twos. That ain't enough. Punch in boy, because that's what the white man used to call us. There it is. 42. And since we always think about the bus and getting in the back of the bus, punch in bus. There it is. Now, what's the other number, Deacon, I told you that always have to do with black people or have a lot to do with black people? 59. Which is strange because 59 was the year Motown Records were created. Mm. Shout out to Zach for this one. 
Motown records were created in 59. You ready for this, Deacon? Uh-huh. On the 42nd parallel. Do you know what you know where that was? Where in Motown Detroit. was created? Detroit. If in Detroit, yeah. Look how they playing that, Deacon. And February is Black History Month. The last day of February is the 59th day of the year, and the word February equals 42. All right, now let's get to some more news. There was a train wreck, Deacon. See if you can't pull up this story. Give me the original CNN story if you can. At 11.20 a.m., there was a train wreck in West Virginia. That State of the Union address won't nothing but theater, by the way. I wish I had time to fool with that. All right. Everybody heard about the train wreck. Do you, have you found the article that said 1120? 1120 a.m. Jason Lewis. I think no, it was No, nah, this ain't the one. The guy that got killed was a Republican named J, Jason Lewis, I think. Shout out to Sister Green, Chandra, that sent me this early. She, she inboxed me about this train. I think it was her. Shout out to her. Sister Latonya says north of Charlottesville. I thought it was in West Virginia. I could be wrong, though. Oh, yeah, it was heading there, I think. That was it. Oh, somewhere near that joint. You said 11, it came out at 1120 this morning? Yes. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, there it is. All right. Now look at this news article. I'm going to show you that this is fake, y'all. It's scripted. All right. So today this train wreck happened. You see it, Deacon? Uh-huh. The time is 1120, which is the same thing as saying 112, right? Yeah. This is a tribute to the Super Bowl. If you punch in Super Bowl, it equals 112. But watch this, Deacon. Could you pull up the guy that died? Do you see Super Bowl? Uh-huh. It happened at 1120. But watch this. The guy that died was named Jason Lewis. Tell me where he's from, Deacon. Does it tell you where he's from? Look at that first paragraph. I'm going to show you this a tribute to the Super Bowl. That's right, Sister Tanya. Train ran into the truck. Yeah, they didn't even Matter bring his fact, name up. I don't think he I'm might not tell even you right he now. He might not even got he might not even been dead yet on this one. All right, pull up Jason Lewis dead. CNN. It'll tell you where he's from when he first tell you in the first paragraph. Brian Dyer, what's up, brother? The the the, the man, the myth, and the legend, Brian Dyer is in the house tonight. Y'all gotta go back and watch this whole thing. We didn't expose it all. Please go back and watch this video and share it like crazy. I want to break a record for our views tonight. By tomorrow morning, I want to wake up to almost 200 shares by tomorrow morning, and I would like to have well almost close to 3,500 3, views by tomorrow morning. I need y'all to help me to do it. Everybody yeah, need to from, see this. Oh, okay, all right. Now, he, he, uh, he suffered a concussion and one person dead. Jason Lewis is from Minnesota. Now, did you, <laughs> what did I just tell you? You're laughing, right? <laughs> What did I just tell you, Deacon? This was a tribute to. The Super Bowl, man. That's your right. And where is the Super Bowl, Deacon? In Minnesota. And this guy just happened to be from Minnesota. And watch this, Deacon. Pull up his birthday. I think he's a Republican congressman. Since Seneca Moore saw it. Pull up his birthday. I'm going to show you how they do this. September 23rd, 1955. Now, I'm about to go off. 
Is anybody from the barbershop on here right now? Is there anybody that goes to Aki's barbershop that was in the barbershop on Friday? How the spring stand up? If not, Deacon, you can remember, I was on Warfare Wednesday last week, and I told you about Trump's number. Yeah. Donald Trump's number is 239. 239. 239 pounds. 239. Watch uh, this, Deacon. What's the name of that street? I can't look at the name of the street. I'm about to do it right now for you. Remember last week we showed you they said Trump got a physical? Yeah, yeah. Trump got a physical and he weighed 239 pounds? Yeah. Well, if they said Trump weighed 239 pounds, which we know is a lie, that's all Masonic scripting. They make up numbers. That's right. And the flag, watch this. Trump began his, his, Trump began his protest against the NFL on September 23rd, Deacon. There you go. <laughs> which is 239. You ready, Deacon? Yes, sir. About the American flag. That's right. The American flag, Deacon. I said it at Bible study last Tuesday. That's right, Brother CD. The American flag, Deacon, was made at Betsy Ross' house in That's Philadelphia. Right. That's right. Who else in the Super Bowl? Philadelphia Eagles. Watch this, Deacon. At 2.30, Betsy Ross' house is 239, Arch 239 Arch Street. Well, Deacon, that ain't nothing. Because if you think that's something, Trump was born on June the 14th, which is Flag Day. So the riddle of the NFL is about the flag, and they picked Donald Trump to protest against it because his birthday is on Flag Day, and his number was 239. They said he weighed 239, but the flag was made at Betsy Ross' house at 239 Arch Street. And he started the protest on September the 23rd. And now we got a man that's dead of a train wreck. On what day, Deacon? September, uh, born September 23rd. Which is 23-9. Yep. Now, Deacon, that ain't enough. How old was the man again? 55. I mean, 62. He was 55. 62. No, he was 62. My bad. Yeah, because you know why? He was born in 55. He was born in 55. That's right. I was reading wrong. See, now watch this, Deacon. Go to your Jamatronator right now. Let's rock and roll. I ain't got time to mess around. I got to get in the bed. He's and sick. I got to go and go down to Tide Water and get on the radio tomorrow and give it to him all over again at 12 right noon. All, over again. all right, let's rock and roll. Put in Minneapolis where the Super Bowl is at, Deacon. Let's get the 55 and the 62. 60. The, uh, the man was 62 and was born in 55. I always what is many Minneapolis. Good luck on me spelling it. <laughs> there you go. I, I messed it up just now, my son. <laughs> what number, Deacon? What oh, are the side-by-side -side numbers? You got 55 and 62. And the man was born in what year? 55, and he's 62 years old. I'm done. <laughs> it's all scripted. It's all fake. I do this every week. Once again, Deacon, ain't pardon my English, ain't nobody putting better information than this out in the whole world right now no, on Facebook no, Live. They ain't making it hot like this. We do this every week, Deacon. Every week, man. Now, Deacon, this happened in Green Greenbrier, West Virginia. Okay? Uh-huh. Find that so they can see we're not lying. By the way, God show some love. If you have not donated, go and donate. This is worth the time. This is worth your effort. This is worth you being a blessing. We are earning it tonight. Send it. All right? Greenbrier. See if you can find that. That's where it happened at. Yep. At the Greenbrier, at the Greenbrier Resort. Now go back to your Jamatronator and punch in Greenbrier, West Virginia. I'm going to blow this out of the water and we're getting ready to go home. Oh, before we go home, I'm going to touch the, the blue moon. Hey, Sister Hines. God bless you, woman of God. 
Do you see that, Deacon? I don't think you spe did you spell that right? You know you didn't. You left out green. Oh yeah, that's the end. Oh, there you go. Get Google that. Now what number is right there on the left? One thirty-one. What's today's date, Deacon? One thirty-one. I'm done. <laughs> Now, I ain't sweating for real. I'm good. I ought to be. I ought to be. We don't make it hot for sure. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> All right, Deacon. Last piece of the night. Last piece of the night. And then we're going to take questions and go home. Or oh, I could do Alex Smith if we got time. If we stay over 105, I'll do Alex Smith being traded to the Redskins and show you that's fake too. Hey, what's up, Minister Timothy Harris? What's up, man? All right. Rock and roll. So, Deacon, everybody's talking about what's going on with this weather. I mean, uh -huh. this, uh, this moon. That red Have moon. you heard anything about the moon? That red moon? That blue it's moon? supposed to be a red moon, yeah. but there's something else going on, Deacon. What's that? It's supposed to be a red moon and a blue moon. On the same day. Yep, it's supposed to be a super a super blue blood blood moon. So a blue blood moon, it will be red, it will be blue, and what color is the moon normally, Deacon? It ain't white. And that's what that is. This is all fake. You say, how do they make the, the moon look red? Do you remember, Deacon, when the eclipse when the eclipse came? Yep. I went in the barbershop, our keys place, where I be on Fridays. Come on in there, because I, I rocked the house in there Friday. We had we had church up in there. But let me tell y'all this. This is no lie, Deacon. I told them there was going to be a great terrorist event around the, the, the uh, eclipse. And I also warned them, Deacon, that Part of why the sky looked like that when it looked all orange was because uh -huh. of the fires. Remember we talked about the forest fires? Yeah. That's what, And then the other thing they do to change the color of the sky is they're spraying the sky. Right. Now watch this, Deacon. What better day to do this? Because it's not only a red and a blue moon, it's also going to be a, an eclipse. Mm -hmm. All at the same and time. This is a Super Bowl tribute, and I believe it's telling us who's going to win the Super Bowl. <laughs> the red, white, and blue. It's, yeah. Now, if it ain't telling us who's going to win, I guess it's telling us who's going to lose, because it ain't but one or two things you can do. But watch this. Watch this, Deacon. Mm -hmm. What is the area code of Minneapolis? I'm going to show you this a tribute to the Super Bowl. 612. Now go to Revelation 612 right now. Same way we do the earth. Notice, Deacon, we do the earthquakes the same way. Yep. We go to the Bible, right? No doubt. Because that's where they get these codes from. They distort the Bible. The Masonic Jews use, their, use the scriptures and distort them. And use them. Now watch this, Deacon. The area code of the Super Bowl is 612. Let's see if this is a tribute. The red, blue, and eclipse. All right. Revelation that they made, 12. by the way. And it says, Revelation 612. When I beheld, he opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Red. Red. Now, Deacon, he opened the what seal? The sixth seal. Is Tom Brady getting ready to open the sixth seal? <laughs> the sixth Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right. You ready? One. This is the last one, Deacon. Mm -hmm. For real. We're going up. We're going to get off here early unless we got questions. Alex Smith. Was yeah. traded to the Washington Redskins. Give me boys. 
Yeah. <laughs> Alex Smith is 33. Yeah. Yeah, it could be. Laquita Willis, it could be. It could be the other way around. But just in case you never follow my work, I've been calling the Patriots and the Eagles in the Super Bowl the whole season pretty much. True talk. And when everybody went against me on here and picked the Steelers and the Chiefs, I stuck with Tom Brady. True to true truth, true story. Matter of fact, I picked the Patriots last year and picked the Eagles uh in the first couple games of the season. I walked up to the guy at the barbershop named Va. Shout out to Va that works was in the third chair at Artie's barbershop. And he's an Eagles fan. I said it hurt me to my heart, Va. But I see a script for the Eagles to win this, to go to the, to go to the Super Bowl and lose. Yep, I told him all about the birds dying and all that, Sister Moore. You remember? Now watch this, Deacon. Alex Smith is thirty-three years old. Right. Notice the teams that he playing for. Uh huh. Kansas City Chiefs. And they going to the Washington Redskins. It's all about the Indians. Uh huh. Now, Alex Smith is 33, punchy and Indian, Deacon. Since it's all about Indians. What's up, Sean Gotti? What's up, man? Florida in the house. Indian equals what, Deacon? 33. And he's 33 years old. And while we're here, put in masonry, because they're the ones that did it. Get in. Now watch this, Deacon. Oh, by the way, oh, Deacon, you know what I forgot to tell everybody? What's that? Remember last week I talked about the number 77? Yeah. 62? Right. Somebody showed me a thing online with John Madden. When, when, when Madden come on, uh-huh. Tom Brady go to the line, and there's only two numbers that pop up on the helmet of the players to the left. 62 and 77. Once again, I'm telling you why he's going to win. Anyway, so Alex Jones. Might, yeah, yeah, you say he might croak, ain't he? Huh? You said John Madden might croak soon. Well, according to the numbers, he'll be 82. If he lives past 83, that's what they said. He'll be shot. Yeah. I don't know about it. I don't know. But watch this, Deke. Alex equals 42. Let me see. Put it up. There it is. And this is important. But to, the date that they made the trade, Deacon, was on January the 30th. Because we was at Bible study when they told me. Uh-huh. That's 130, right? Uh-huh. Where is he going? To Washington. Put in Washington. To stick with that date. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now, hold on, Deacon. Let's do date numerology. One thirty eighteen. One plus thirty plus eighteen equals forty nine. Yep. First team you ever played for? Forty niners. NFL equals forty nine as well. There it is. And thirteen. You ready for this, Deacon? Uh huh. This is a tribute to the Super Bowl. Put in Super Bowl. Forty nine again. Yep. Now this could be the last straw, and I'm going to bed. This took place, Deacon, ninety eight days f before his thirty fourth birthday. <laughs> now we look up. So in ninety eight days from after the thirtieth, uh -huh. he'll turn what? Thirty four. Now put in Kansas City Chiefs in there. And we'll show you where he's leaving from. And I'll show you that that's all synced together perfect.
And by the way, Deacon, guess what season it is? The 98th season. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> we did that, Deacon. We Man, did that. that. You did that on the two-minute warning. We did that. No, the two-minute drill. Listen, let me give them some need-to-know information so we can shut down. For those who have not done it, request us on Facebook. I don't know if you want people requesting you or not, but I got them already. They in the queue. All right. In the queue. So request Deacon Jamal Harris. Also request Pastor Rob Scarborough. Don't forget to check us out every Wednesday. Listen, the Word Church is doing this type of stuff every weekend. Every week. I was in the middle of church two weekends ago and called out the number 44. And the score of the Patriots game ended in 44, and the player that got injured was number 44, and he got injured with four minutes and four seconds left. <laughs> and Deacon, you was there because you was reading for me when I talked about April the 4th, which was the day Martin Luther King died. That's right. Now, y'all need to come out to the Word Church. We started this video, for those that came on late, and we proved that nobody is in heaven with the Bible. We showed you that nobody's ever been to heaven. We showed you that David, Enoch, and Elijah never been to heaven. That's right. I need everybody to do me a favor tonight. Number one, share this video. When you hang up, when I get off of here, when we hang up, Sean God, I need you to share this. I need people in Florida to get it. I'm going to start calling y'all out. When I hang up, since Delana Greenhouse, I need you to share this when we when we get off of here. Brother Michael, I need you to share. Brother CD, I know you're sharing. Come on, I'm calling folks out. Sister Panny G, please share this. I'm going to ask Sister Sade, we're going to get you to sing real soon. I need you to share this, please, for me. Everybody, Sister Miracle, we miss you. Where you been? Please share this. Deacon, we have worked this. No, no homo. We worked this tonight. We, we did. We did. <laughs> no doubt. And 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 Sister Brenda James, please share it. Derek Hood, share this. Aisha Scott, share it up. Share yes, it, please. Yes. Share it, Brother Ruben. I know you're gonna do it. Sister Lakita, please share it. Everybody, yes, Brother Allen Montague, please share it. Don't just yes, keep sure. this. We need to do 150 shares by 12 midnight. I will not sleep well if I don't get if I don't see it. Come on, y'all support. I'm telling the story. I'm gonna sleep good either way. But <laughs> support. Also, come out to the word church. Yes, sir. Every somebody Sunday. Put the address in there. Yes, yeah, thank you, Deacon. Somebody Every Sunday, there. Deacon, the same way you read and me and you connect. Yeah. We preach our Sunday messages just like that. Just like this, you can see it live and direct when we connect. You can, and then we can, we're the only church on a Sunday. You can ask any question. Anything goes. I don't write out a sermon. You and I don't even know what we're going to be asked many times. Not at all. And we fire away every single week. Every time. And, and we give God all the glory because I'm nothing and He's nothing, That's but right. God is everything. Nothing. Counts as less than nothing. So I'm asking everybody to come out to 4108 West, West, West Clay Street. Street. Richmond, Virginia. Thank you, Sister Tanya. Sister Shay Shay, come on out and see us. We deal with everything that the other churches don't want to deal with. We deal with demons. We deal with sickness. People are getting yes. healed. People are getting free. We're dealing with everything. And contrary to popular belief, Deacon, we celebrate 11 years. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've, we've been packed on Sundays. Every Sunday. And the prophets, the false prophets said that we wouldn't have 10 members and we wouldn't last a year. Mm, and that was what? How and many years ago? 11 years later, we got a ministry down in Tidewater and in Richmond, and wow. we're still moving. So I'm telling you, if you want better information, 
Yeah, we celebrate it. Everybody didn't want to be a blessing. If you've been soaking up all this information and you think about, well, Pastor Rob, I want to be a blessing. I don't want to be a, a, a gold digger that gets all this truth and don't support it. I don't charge. Deacon Jamal, we don't charge. Go to PastorRob.us and donate. That's all. Last time y'all donated a lot of money, we did a turkey drive. I went yep. to most of the money, spent flowers. Um, the brother, shout out to Austin Trucking, donated most yep. of my turkey. Prominent Trucking, what's I up? Bought buckets of flowers out of my own money, along That's with right. Brother D Hood and uh, Brother Two Time. They call him yep. Two Time, Two. So, again, we're going to share. But y'all need to break bread. You know, I have oh, to spend yeah. my time doing this research. I have to spend my time looking up stuff. I have to spend my time looking up current events. And y'all inbox me all night long. <laughs> I'm being real. I pray for people. I'm talking to people all night long. Now, be a blessing. Don't be uh -huh. a, a, a cheater. Don't be a gold digger. Be a blessing. Pastor Rod got us. Deacon Jamal, you got anything you want to say before we go? No, I want to say I had a good night. And uh, y'all be blessed out there. Thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you share, like, and invite. Make sure you push and support. We're looking for y'all. Thank you, Sister Steve. Come out and meet us. Yeah. I want to meet the people. I want to uh, touch the people. Let them know we love them. We answer all of your Bible questions. We're teaching in Bible study on Tuesdays, which is a very interactive Bible study. We're talking about free will next week, who Satan really is, how he's not really an angel that was kicked out of heaven. We're showing you what the truth is. You don't want to miss it. Oh, most of thank you so much. Tomorrow night, yeah. everybody in the Tidewater area, Jason Brown, our VR, the guy that's doing all of our videos, he's right there. Shout out to Jason Brown. Follow him. What's up, man? Jason Brown, is. We, Warfare Wins is getting ready to put out a short movie and a video. It should be ready next week. Oh, yeah. Shout out to it's Lamont good. Fleming. Shane, up, Shane Brown, brother CD, Cornelius McLaughlin, shout out to him and his wife. Congratulations on the baby. Congratulations, man. Um, please stay in prayer for uh, Sister Chandra Green's mother. Please stay in prayer for my grandmother, Sarah Harris. Yes, please indeed. stay in prayer for Evangelist Joel Boyd. Please be stay in prayer. In prayer. Yes. Please. Also, we thank God for brother... Uh, uh, I forget his name. Sister Talisha's father. Shout out to Sister Talisha. Shout out to Sister Chiquita. Sister Talisha's father, who I, I ran into and met at the store. Good guy. Mm -hmm. Praying for him as well this week. That's all. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. I got to go. Everybody, when we hang up, share over and over and talk about this. Push this. One more thing. When I put up a post about Warfare Wednesday on Wednesday in the daytime, right. like it, that's right. share it, because that's how I determine if people are going to be on and ready to go. Otherwise, I'll cancel. And go back Thank and look you, at the Sister other King. Too. All right, Deacon. We, did we, we get out here a little early tonight. Yeah, man. Apparently. Yeah. I'll take man. that. <laughs> hey, man, I appreciate you. Hey, man. Much love, man. Always, you held us down. You always do. I give God the glory for that. Shout out to yes. you and your family who let, allow us to have this time with you that you could have snuggled up with your wife or snuggled up with your baby girl, whatever. You give yes. it up to the people. And for that, I love I'm people. grateful. So, shout out to you. Um, shout out to the Word Church. Yes, My mom was on the Love You Mom. And gotta go, Deacon. Bless y'all.